I'm Danny Dyer, and this is The Wall. Four stories higher. Come up. Drop it. Where just one bounce can change oh, your life on. forever. <laughs> the Wall gives 136,000. Give us loads of reddies, you mug. And The Wall takes away. You've wiped out. No! Last time, isolation player Louise faced a big decision. The only way I'm going to do this is just to go with my gut. And chose the guarantee. Drop them. So after some tough questions <laughs> and a wipeout on the wall. Oh, no dope. Oh, I could cry. Louise and Helen still walked away with over 14 grand. <laughs> Tonight, another pair of players will try to win the ultimate game of risk and reward. Welcome to the wall. Good evening and welcome to the wall. Let's meet tonight's players, Diane and Andy. Give me some love. Can't get yourself over there, mate. Come and stand here. Good to have you here. Big bit of kit, that, innit? Oh, oh no. yeah. <laughs> so, Diane, you work for the Regional Chamber of Commerce, and Andy, you're a training manager. That's correct. You're married, and you're from Bolton. Yeah. Oh, yes. Let's find out a little bit more about you. So I met Diane 15 years ago at work and uh, as soon as I saw her, it was love at first sight for me and we've been married for 13 very happy years since. We have an 11 year old son, Liam, who, well, basically dictates our family life, doesn't he? Yeah, he's, he's our world. The most important thing to us in life is Liam, so winning big would make a big difference. You know, we could make sure, uh, you know, there's something set aside for him. I think we'll do really well under pressure. We've both got quite high-pressured jobs, haven't we? Oh, hello. The biggest pressure I face is finding some new material to make my wife smile. Well, because I've heard the same joke for 15 years, hasn't it? We are feeling really confident tonight and we're going to win some money. <laughs> what would it mean to you guys to win big tonight? It's securing a future for Liam, for our son. What's he want to do, this kid? So his, his dream is to be a pilot, and we've looked into it, and it's a significant amount of money for the training. How much? Between £60 and £100,000, so it's oh, achievable oh, oh, oh. on this wall, isn't it? So you're confident? Oh, yeah. yes, so we're really confident. Right, let's get on with the game, eh? <laughs> Round one is called free fall. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to load up the wall. Right. We're going to ask you a question and we're going to drop the three balls down the wall, hopefully towards that two and a half grand. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. That's a beautiful looking oh, yeah. thing. That's isn't it? the one. You have to lock in your answer before the first ball reaches the money. You answer okay. the question correctly, the balls turn green and you're banking readies. If you answer it incorrectly, the balls are going to turn red and we're going to take the money away. We don't want that, do we? No. 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 So you have to have money in the bank by the end of five questions to stay in the game. It's very simple. Yeah. Should we try and make you rich? Yes. yes. Right, let's have it. Let's play free fall. <laughs> now, I, I, I won't be asking the questions. It's going to be the lovely, delectable Angela Rippon. Good evening, Angela. Can we have the first question, please? Good evening, Danny, and good luck to tonight's players. Here's question one. What title was given to Meghan Markle when she married Prince Harry? A, Duchess of Cambridge, or B, Duchess of Sussex? I get Sussex, I'm sure. Hey, sure. Got to lock it in! Ooh, that was so close. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming you're not very sure. I've gone with the wife, anyway. So. Gone with the wife. Put it on the wife straight away, like yeah. it. <laughs> Wait, OK, so you've gone. A, Duchess of Cambridge. Was it right or was it wrong? Oh. It's wrong. He's had the nap. He did. Yeah. Duchess of Cambridge is Kate Middleton. Yeah. That's all right, first question, all right. Okay. Angela, question two, please. Which of these classic French dishes comes with an egg on top? 
A. Croque Monsieur or B. Croque Madame? A. Croque Monsieur or B. Croque Madame? Gotta lock it in! Please do that! I mean, listen, you've had a result, really, either way. Three quid. Is yeah, up. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what's up for grabs here. Go ahead. Yeah? Got to start somewhere, son, ain't you? OK, was it right or was it wrong? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Three quid yeah. in the bag. Yeah. Yes! It's not even bust their arm, man. OK, coming in. Angela, question three, please, of five. Which of these is the name of a bone in the forearm? A, circumference, or B, radius? A, circumference, B, radius. Locked it in. There's a grand boy in here. That's what we're talking about. We know we've got this right. We've got this. We've got it. We've got it. You're very excitable now, aren't you? OK. Whoa, is it right or is it wrong? Yeah! Yes! Woo! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Looking a lot oh, healthier now, isn't it? Look at the symmetry! £3,003. Yeah. OK. Angela, question four, please. Which of these began operating first? A. Concord. Or B, Channel Tunnel. A, Concord, or B, Channel Tunnel. Come on, it's a big one. Yes, 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 It's your final question. You know, you could wipe out here. You know, you could wipe out. Oh, thanks, Danny. <laughs> I'm just yeah. saying. Coming in, Angela, let's have the final question, please. What is the surname of this actor? A. Laurel or B. Hardy? Gotta know this. Oh, right, come on. A. Laurel or B. B. Hardy. B. Hardy. Good boy. Come on. Is this right? Is it right? Is it right? Whoa, is it right or is it wrong? Of course yes! it's right! Oh, oh, no. Tom Hardy, <laughs> the second best British actor after me. After you, of course. <laughs> right, OK, beautiful. Let's have a look at your total awesome. now. £9,505. Yeah. You've really pulled it out of the bag, there. Thank you. Later on, you're going to have a choice about whether you're going to keep that money as part of the guarantee or you're going to risk it for hopefully a lot more money. Yeah. Right now, one of you has to go into isolation behind the wall. They're going to be answering questions that could add even more money to that guarantee, but they won't know if they're getting them questions right or if they're getting them wrong. They're not going to have a clue what's going on out here. <laughs> no. You've decided Diane is yes. going to go into isolation. Why? Clever. Clever, yeah. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's about it. You sort of say that. First of all, she's more level-headed than I am. She can work through situation and questions a little bit clearer, I think. OK, Diane, it's time to go into isolation. The next time you see each other, hopefully, you're going to be a lot richer. <laughs> oh, good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Come with me, baby. Come with me. Good luck. Stay calm. Do whatever you've got to do, all right? Bless you, baby. Of course I will. Don't worry. Ah, oh, she said, look after him. Now, Diane is going behind into isolation, she won't be able to see or hear us, but we can see and hear Diane. And there she is. You had a result pulling her, didn't you? Oh, yeah. big time. Now, this is where it's all going to start getting a bit serious, OK? You've got some support with you. Who did you bring with you? 
Oh, my boss and friend Ian and his lovely wife Diane. Your boss? <laughs> yes, he is my boss, yeah. Does he a nightmare in work? I can imagine he is. I've had to uh, rein him in a little bit. Very passionate about what he does, and sometimes that can be taken the wrong way, but on the whole, we get on making house on fire, really. Really? Because it don't seem like it from the way you're talking. <laughs> seem, uh... <laughs> Do you think it was the right move, Diane, going into isolation? Yes. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, she... Yeah. She calms the ship. So Andy's the Titanic, is he? And she's trying to... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get on with it, eh? Let's play round two. This is serious, then, Donna. I'm going to take my jacket off. That's all right. Nice suit, by the way. I was just wondering where you uh, got the inspiration from, young man. <laughs> <laughs> OK. We've now got a lot more money on the wall, including a massive 25 grand. Oh, hey. Come on. Backed up with a 15 grand. Oh, yes. 10 grand, yes. 5 grand. We're talking like serious weddies oh, now, yes. Andy. Now, this is how it's going to work. We're going to start the round with two beautiful, lovely green balls. Wonderful. Free money. Now, if we give you two green balls, at the end of the round, we're going to have to give you two red balls. Mm. Now, they're nasty balls. Oh, yes. They're going to be taking money away from your total, OK? Yeah. The crucial bit is the three white balls in the middle. The three question balls. Now, they can make or break your game because, obviously, Diane, she's going to be answering the questions. If she gives us a right answer to the question, then balls are going to turn green and you'll be making money. If she gets it wrong, <laughs> they'll be going red. OK? So, if you look, the big money is on the right-hand side of the wall. So, dropping a ball around the seven gives you a better chance of hitting it. If you want to play safe, then you go towards the one. OK. It's important because later on, wherever you put these green balls, the red balls are going to go in the same number. So what sort of person are you? Are you a risky person? Are you cautious? Other than being a bit nutty, what are you? <laughs> I am a bit of a risk taker. Are you? Yeah, but this is why. Okay. I, uh... Oh, they like it. They like it. OK. Where do you want to put your two green balls? So I'm going to go for number six. And? Go for number two. Go and grab your balls, Andy. <laughs> Hello, sir. This one's for Liam. Come on, Liam. Come on, then, for Liam. Think about me. In you go. <sighs> Love it. Beautiful. OK. Let's enjoy this bit, eh? Yes. I mean, this could make you 50 grand. Come on. Come on. Come on. OK, Wall. Be kind. Come on. Drop them. Come on! Get over here! Get to the right! Come on! Come on this way! Yes! Come on! Oh! Oh! oh yeah, that's yes. all right. That do ya? Yeah, that's not bad at all, that. Wow! 18,000. Yes! 515 pounds. That's not bad at all, that. Yeah, it's all right, sir. Yeah, it's very good. Time for some questions, right? Although Diane will be answering the questions, you'll be making some big decisions that will decide how much money you could be going home with. OK. Before Diane sees the question, we'll show you the possible answers. If you think she's going to know the answer, you go towards the seven. Yep. If you think she's going to struggle, you can go towards the one to protect the money in Got case you. we have a red ball. Yeah. OK. Perfect. Love it. Let's take a look at the possible answers to question one, please. A, the British Army. B, the Royal Navy. C, the Royal Air Force. Does she know much about the military? Not really, no. I don't think it'd be a strongest right. subject, that, okay. so... Um... So no faith in your wife whatsoever? <laughs> yeah, I've got a lot of faith in her. But hopefully she does know a little bit about the military. But I'm still going to go in the middle. I'm going to go for number four. Go and get your ball then, Andy. OK. Come on. Be lucky. OK. Angela, what's the question? Which of these has the most full-time, fully trained personnel? That's hard. I, th I think it'd be the army, personally. I think they've got a lot of personnel in the army. That's a tough question. Gosh, they're all really similar. I'm... I think... I know which one I'm going to go with, and I think because 
I think the British Army, I think, has got more people on the ground. So I'm going to go with a British Army. Well, that's what I would have gone with, so... You called that on, son. Yes, yes, so great minds. We're a bit telepathetic. Telepathetic, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I think we're all a bit telepathetic around here. Yeah, I'm quite so, confident. If it's wrong, you can't really get the up. Exactly, I think Because that's the one you would have called on. Absolutely. Right, we need a green ball here. There's no two ways about it. OK. Wall. Is it right or is it wrong? Yes! Come on! Woo! That's my girl! She's pulled it out of the bag. OK, then. Come on. Wall. Drop it. Come on! This way! To the right! No, this way! Yes! Could have been worse, it toyed with a one. Oh, 17,000. That's, that's what I think that's a... Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. OK, question oh. two. Can we have the uh, three possible answers, please? A, now sling your hook. B, happy Christmas, Ange. C, no more Mrs Watts. Well, it's a bit close to your home, this, by the looks of things. I don't know what you're talking about, Sam. What do you mean? <laughs> EastEnders, and it sounds a little bit around the era of Den and Angie Watts. You an EastEnders fan? More of a Cory nut, I can yeah. tell. <laughs> well, <laughs> now you mentioned Coronation Street. My boss is addicted to Coronation Street. Who's addicted to Coronation boss, Street? Yeah, yes. can we have him escorted from the room? Yeah. Please. <laughs> He's got no business in here. Is she into EastEnders, the wife? Well... No, she's around... not either. Look, no-one's into EastEnders. Yeah. What's going on here? Around that era, I think she was. So there's, there's a significant chance she may know the answer to this. And that's question two, OK? Yeah. You can double up, OK? That means two balls from the same number, depending on how confident you are. So, okay. you know, if you think she's going to get this right, it could be worth £50,000 yes. if you double up. If she gets it wrong... Yes, and this is what my mindset could is. Could wipe you out completely. But I know how my mind works, so I am going to double up. You're going to double up? I'm OK, double good up. man. Yeah, thank good you. Man. Yeah. A bit of confidence. Yeah. With that in mind, what number? I'm going to go for six. Ooh. Go and get your balls, Andy. Go and get them and load them up. I do hope she's into EastEnders. I really do. Are you? I am. Going to shoot at me. No. OK, you've doubled up, you've gone in six. You're pretty confident about this, Andy. Yeah. Angela, what's the question, babe? This, my sweet, <laughs> is a letter from my solicitor telling you that your husband has filed a petition for divorce. It also tells you to get yourself a solicitor pretty damn quick. What is the next line in this classic scene from EastEnders? I think I know this, and I don't even I'm know why. Down. I've just got a feeling that it's Happy Christmas, Ange. So, fingers crossed, if you've doubled up, Andy, I'll get this right. So, I'm going to go with B, Happy Christmas, Ange. Locking that in. She seemed confident there, didn't she? She did, actually, yeah. OK, you've doubled up, you've oh, gone six, please. you've got 17 grand sitting there now. Whoa! Was it right or was it wrong? It also tells you to get yourself a solicitor pretty damn quick. Happy Christmas, Ian. Yes! Get in there, Frank. Come on. Come on! Yes. Big up the EastEnders. Look at that, look. Number Beautiful six, that. you've doubled up two Come beautiful on. green balls. OK, then. Come on, then. Oh! Be kind, Wall. <laughs> Drop them. This way! Oh, no, that's it! Come on! This way! Yes! Oh, oh look at oh. You're not playing in ten. 22 Whoa. grand, come on! Come on! Little Liam, maybe over the moon with that. Absolutely. OK. It's the final question, Ball. <sighs> Can we have the three possible answers, please? A, Gary. B, Phil. C, Tracy. So, what are you thinking, Ed? It's got to be the Nevilles. Gary's a 
pundit for the football. Phil's the manager of the English ladies' football team. Gary Neville, Phil Neville. Tracy, I think she's the netball. You're you know, good, netball. Ant. You're yeah. good, mate. You're good. Well, Diane know that, though. I've got to let you know, obviously, question three, you can triple up, Andy. Three oh. balls from the same number. Serious, serious money, potentially worth 75 grand. I think she's got a, 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 an outside chance of answering this correct. But if she doesn't, and there's three red balls going down there, there's a potential all that hard work's going to go, so I am going to just go a single ball. What number do you fancy? I'm going to go for number four. Go and get your ball then, okay. Andy. It's pretty safe, really, what you've done there. Yeah. <laughs> number four, singled up. Angela, what is the question? Which of the Neville siblings did not lead an England team to a World Cup semi-final in 2019? She would have known this. OK, right, I should know this. I know Gary and Phil. I can't work out what Tracy... Uh, that's just unknown, so I can't... Oh, is Gary the commentator? One of, I know what... Yes. You know, is. watching football all the time, and Andy's always watching it. One of them's a commentator, isn't he? And I think... I'm sure that's Gary who does the commentating. It is. Come on, which love. Which means Phil could be... Go with Gary. I mean, I don't... I'm, got, I'm going to rule out Gary, because I'm sure he's, like, more commentator than involved. Yeah, I'm going to rule out Tracy, because she may have had something to do with the women's. You've just said he's okay, a commentator. OK, I'm going to go with Phil. No! And... <sighs> fingers crossed. I'm going to lock him be, Phil. Oh, she, she, she already said, didn't she? She said... Well, listen... I did the right thing. You didn't triple up. Yes. OK. We don't know the answer. I think we do. Yeah. But maybe some weird universe. <laughs> OK, well, was it right or was it wrong? Yeah, it was wrong. Of course it was wrong. OK. Yeah, it would have been a lot worse with three balls up there, wouldn't it? Yeah, now we could do with a nice little pound, Absolutely. We? All right, Wall. Drop it. Pound. One of these here. It's a pound. That's it. Yes. Yes! <laughs> That's definitely a high five. Yes! Oh, that was an escape, Woo! that was, I'm telling you now. Yeah, me too. 2,000. That is, though. Now, you know what's coming. Yes. We've got to drop the two red balls. Two red balls. They have to fall from the same two numbers where you put the green balls. Six and two. Six and two. Load them up, please. Go on, put them in. You've got to do it, mate. Oh. Nothing we can do about it. That's ten pounds. Like your style, Andy. Like your style. And this is a quid. Eleven quid, then. Yeah. Right, you've got 22 <laughs> grand sitting there now. This could potentially cost you 50 grand, completely wipe you out, OK? Ooh, we don't want none of that. No. All right, then. Wall. Drop them. Come on. Ones. Come on, in. Ones. Ones. Come on. Ones. Ones. Get over to ones. No, get away. Get away. Get away. Yes! Come on. Oh! Did you not call on 11 quid? I just did now? call £10 and £1. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah! 22 grand, you're still oh, sitting there. That's amazing. Right, OK, still a long way to go. How do you think Diane's holding up under the pressure? She looks like she's doing absolutely amazing. She actually looks like she's enjoying it. Let's have a look at Oh, look at her look. Bless her. <laughs> she's probably enjoying the peace oh. and quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's the end of round two. Let's get involved with round three. Yeah, come on. Now, round three, this is where things get very, very serious because we've now added 50 grand. Whoa! There's a 25 grand. Whoa! There's a 20 grand. Come we're talking on. massive, massive money. Life changing. Now, we're going to start this round with three green balls, three beautiful green balls. There they are, look. Now, you know if we start with three green balls, at the end of the round, we're going to have to give you three red balls. They're going to be taking money away. 
The crucial bit, of course, is the three question balls, the three white balls in the middle. Now, with that much money on the wall, Diane, getting them questions right, can really tip the odds in your favour. Yeah. OK? Right. Should we bank some big money? Oh, yes. Should we play them three green Let's balls? Let's do it, Danny. OK. Got to remember, wherever you place the green ball, the red ball will be dropping from the same number later on. Okay. Where do you want to put your first green ball, young Andy? So I am going to play a little bit risky for the first one. I'm going to go for number seven. We've not had any from number seven yet. It's a year Liam was born. So I'll be probably lucky for Liam. Yes! 2007. Go and get your ball, Andy. Put it in. Come on, son. Potentially worth 50 grand. Come on. OK. You've gone for it. OK, Wall. Come on. Come on. Drop it! Come on. Go away. Come on. Let's go to the 50... 50... Days. Come on! Over here! 50,000! Come on! Fist bump. Like a couple of young kids hanging out. Get 72. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is looking beautiful. Jesus. That is beautiful. What would you do with that money? I've mentioned about Liam, he's looking at being a pilot, so you could put a significant chunk away for that. Yeah, of course it could, yeah. With a few quid over. OK, so oh. that's one green ball out of the way. Where do you want to put your second green ball? Number three. Go and get your ball then, Andy. OK. Whack it in. Whack it in. Come on. Come OK, on. then. Whoa. Drop it. Let's go right. That's it. Come on. Oh, oh. this way. 10,000 on me. Give him 10. Yes! That's all right. That's OK. I'm happy with that. Money in the bank, wow. 74 grand. Wow. Wow. OK, so, we've got a final green ball, OK? A final kind ball. What are you thinking, Andy? I'm going to go for five. Go and get that ball, Andy, and put it in, sunshine. OK. The last three green ball. Come on. Good man. There you go. Coming in, green ball. Coming in, wall. Be kind. Come on. Drop it. Come on. It's still amazing, man. It's a lot of money. Oh, it is. It's fantastic. It is. It's time for a question. Yes. In round three, each question now has four possible answers. We've got to make it a little bit more trickier. Oh, right. OK. Yeah. Let's see the possible answers for question one. A. La Tomatina. B. Holy Festival. C. Rio Carnival. D. Oktoberfest. I know Oktoberfest, that's in Germany, and Rio Carnival, obviously, that's in Brazil. La Tomatina, I think that's in Spain, I think, where they have the tomato, everyone's covered in tomatoes, and, and the Holy Fest. I think, is it India? All right, with that in mind, where do you want to put your ball? Three. Go and get your ball, Andy, put it in, sunshine. I think you made the right move there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Block. OK, then. You've gone free. Angela, what is the question? Which of these festivals originated furthest from the UK? <gasps> you need to know where they all are in order oh, to work that out. Wow. Some of them I don't recognise. I know Oktoberfest, Rio Carnival, Tom really? Tino, like what does that sound like? Spanish, yeah? Not yeah, it's definitely Spanish. Spain, it's difficult, isn't it? Holy... In it? Okay. It's probably Brazil. Can it see? I'm going to guess see. that La Tomatina nope. and Holy Spain. are near. I'm going to go with C, Rio Carnival. I think uh, it's right. Yeah. I think a... OK. We want this ball to be green. We do. We do. Yes. Green, Come on. guys, green! OK, Come on. then. Come on, green! Please! 
wall. Was it right or was it wrong? Yeah! Well done, that will. That will do. You've got 74 grand sitting Come there Come on, now. be kind. You've got Come a lovely green ball. You've gone number three. 50,000. You've earned this one. Drop it! Come on! Get over here! This way! Look, oh. Let's have a look at your total. 74,704 yeah, pounds. We're all right, mate. Amazing. OK, question two. Can we have the four possible answers, please? A, little tongues. B, English cream. C, pick me up. D, mouth amuser. I have no idea what's going on here, Andy. It sounds like yeah. it's going to be drink-related. Well, listen, it's question two, so big decision to make. Of course, you can double up from the same number. It's your call, young man. Yeah, so I'm definitely not going to double up. You're not going to double up? No, definitely not. Going to go single ball? Single ball. And what number do you fancy? So I'm going to go for number four, right down the middle. Number four, yeah. single ball. So go and get go your ball the then, way. Andy. Right. Go and get your ball, mate. You're right. I mean, it could be anything, this question, yeah, so... Yeah, could. OK, you didn't double up. You've got number four straight down the middle. Angela, what is the question? The name of the Italian dessert tiramisu translates literally into English as what? I think it might amuse her, maybe. <sighs> wow. This is a uh, food, and I should know the answer. I don't think it's English cream. I don't think it's pick me up, because it definitely doesn't pick me up. It's between A and D. Ooh. You go for D, that's what I would have gone for. Two. I think it's too obvious to be D. I was going to go <sighs> with D, and I think it's too obvious. Well, she might be right, because I have no idea. Tiramisu. Yeah. I'm going to go with my gut, and I'm going to go A, little tongs. Ooh. Fingers crossed. Locking it in. Decisions made. Yeah. Well, we don't know. It's all no. guesswork again. OK, you didn't double up. No. So there was a little bit of safety involved with your decision. Yeah. OK, Wall. Was it Green. right or was it wrong? Green. Green. Do you know what it was? It was C, pick me up. Wow. In little tongues is a translation of linguine. It can't be. I wouldn't have got that. OK, right, so, we got a wrong answer. It's a red ball. Number four. Here we go. Drop it. Left. Come on, left. That's it, that's my ball. Not this way, that's it. It's beautiful. Left. Keep going left. Keep going left. Oh! oh come on! Come on! Andy, that is just a beautiful thing. Just think of the damage that could have done. Shall we have a look at the damage it's oh, done? Oh, yes. I'm, I'm going to... Let's have it. a look at your total now, please. 74 oh, grand, Andy! Oh, that is wonderful. OK, Amazing. so, final question. Be an easy one. Come what on, be are kind. the four possible answers? A. Voulez-vous. Voulez-vous. B, honey, honey. C, SOS. D, knowing me, knowing you. So, you'd have to be on another planet not to know what these four choices are. Amazing 70s band, even though it's a little bit before my time. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. But the ABBA songs, she loves ABBA. She loves a bit of ABBA. Sure, she loves oh, ABBA. Oh, OK. Is, oh, gosh. Now, is question three, which means you can triple up. We're talking potentially 150 grand. Or it could be disastrous. It's your call. Look at that. Come on. It's an amazing life-changing sum of money. My boss might be looking for another trainer. Hopefully. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the balls ain't dropped yet, Andy. I won't get too confident, sunshine. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
I am going to trip a lot. You're going to trip yes. a lot. Yes. Come on. I'm going to go for it. Okay then, young man. You tripled up. What number do you want to go from? <laughs> what one would you go for? Six. You go six. Six. Eight. 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 <laughs> I'm going to take my boss's advice. I am going to go for number six. Oh, 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 no. Yeah, he's, he's going to go to, six. You've got to do this. You've got to do it. Go and get your balls, Andy, and load them up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, my heart beats so fast. Good man. A lot of money at stake, Andy. A lot of money. There is. Here we go. Yes. Oh, my God. Tripled up. Oh, no. In number six. The final question before we face the three nasty red balls. OK, then. Angela, what is the question? Which of these ABBA songs does not feature the word aha in its lyrics? <gasps> I think it's Honey Honey. <gasps> I know you'll have tripled up on this, Andy. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Oh. Done two straight away. Voulez-vous? Aha. Uh -huh. Knowing me, knowing you. It's either B or C. 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 Is it C? C. 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 I can't. I'm singing SOS and I can't. I don't think there's any. I think it's SOS. I don't know Honey Honey that well. C. I'm going to. I'm going to go with SOS. Yes! Oh! I hope I'm right. Oh, my word. Oh, the stress of it oh. all, Andy, the stress <laughs> of it all. You've it's tripled up. There. You've gone number six. OK. Whoa! Was it right or was oh. it wrong? Come here. Come here. Oh, Beautiful. Let's enjoy this. Yes. Whoa. You gotta be kind, didn't you? He's tripled up the geezer. Come on! 74 grand he's got sitting there. Let's boost it up. Drop him! Come on! All of you! All of you! Come on! Come on! This way! At least one of them! This way! This way, where's you going? 10,000! Yes! 15! Let's have a look how much money this you've got in the bank beautiful. right now. Let's have a look how much he's worth. Yeah! 99 oh! grand. Oh! 99? Thousand pounds. Now, we still have them red balls to play, OK? And that could have a big impact on your game. You could wipe it all out. But before we go there, we need to talk about this. Cheers, young man. Semi-young. <laughs> <laughs> the guarantee. When Diane went into isolation, you had £9,505 from Freefall. Diane got four questions right. So we're going to add two and a half grand for each question that she got right. That brings your guarantee to £19,505. That's no small amount of money either, is it? In here is a contract worth that amount, OK? OK. Diane doesn't know its value. All she does know for definite is that you had £9,505 from Freefall. Yep. Now, I'm going to send this to Diane. If she signs it, you're going to go home with £19,505, a lot of money, OK? Amazing that I'm on if she tears it up, you're going to walk away with whatever's on the wall after we drop the red balls. Okay. I'm going to send this contract to Diane. You might want to send us some of your telepathic faults. Yeah. Come in, see you, love. Send us some telepathy. Woo. Come on, love. Remember what we're saying about Leon. Just think about it. Here you go. OK. So Diane's got the contract. Now remember, she doesn't know what it's worth. Now we're going to cut the feed, let her make her decision in private. And we'll find out what she's done very, very shortly. Oh, gosh. This is really tough. Serious. 
I know I came in with nine and a half thousand pound. I could have 15, 16, 17 thousand pound a contract for that much money. But also, there could be big money out there. I know there could. This is really, really a tough decision. Here comes the contract. Oh. Oh, my word. There's no turning back now. No. If Diane signed it, you're going to leave with that guarantee of £19,505. If she tore it up, you'll take home whatever is left on the wall after the final three red balls have dropped. Right now, we have £99,704 on the wall. Whoa. Serious business now. Now, the first number you chose at the seven. start of the round was seven. You wanted to go for it? Yeah. Get your ball, sunshine. Put it in. Here we go. <laughs> OK, started around. Gave you 50 grand. Let's hope it doesn't take 50 grand. It's going in the hundred. OK, how would you feel then, Wall? How are you going to be? Are you going to look after us even more? Drop it! Come on! Left! This way! That's it, my ball! That's it! Keep going! Keep going over! That's it! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yeah, well, yeah! You know what? 45 grand up for that. Sweet as. Happy. Happy Listen, with that. Let's have a look at your title. 94 grand. Oh, it's still an amazing amount of money. Two to go. Can you remember where you put your second green ball? I think I went for two again. You went for three? Oh, did I go one next door? Yeah, I went for three next door. Get your ball, son. Whack it in. Second red ball. Do it for me. Here we go. OK, then, whoa. What sort of damage are you going to do? Little. We want a pound. Drop yes. it. Come on. Left. No. Left. No. Left. Left. Keep going. Keep going. Oh. oh, so unlucky. We're still in good shape. We're still in really good shape. Let's have a look at your total. 79,704. Wow, Money. One red ball left. That's all you got. I think it was five, wasn't it? You did play the final ball from five. There we go. We're we doing it. Get your ball, son. Put it in. Come on. Okay. This is the final red ball. Be kind. All right, we're ready for this. What are you going to do, Wall? What are you going to do for Left. us? Drop it. Come on, it's the last one. Be kind. Left. Left, that's it. Oh, keep going. No, no, yeah. Keep going left. No, no! Yeah! Come here. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh my gosh. My gosh. That is phenomenal. It's beautiful. Phenomenal. It's absolutely Just beautiful. Can't make it all. Shall we have a look and see how much money yes, is on the wall, please. Andy? How much money has he got now? What's his total? 79,000. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's all calmed down. It's all calmed down. So, we now know what's at stake, OK? Yes. What we don't know is what Diane has done with a contract. OK, let's find out and let's welcome back Diane, please. <laughs> Come on in. Come on, mister. Oh. Good to have you back. You. Come and stand on here, baby. Wow. How are you feeling? What's it like in isolation? Oh, crazy. Crazy difficult. Yeah, it's tough. OK, now, you went into isolation with £9,505. I can tell you that you played a good game, babe, and you got four questions right, OK? Oh, God. So that brought your guaranteed total up to £19,505, okay? OK? Now, you're going to take that home if you signed the contract. Okay. If you tore it up, you'll walk away with whatever was left on the wall. 
So, time to tell Andy your decision. If you want to go and stand over there and face him. I'll get the old contract. Diane, you want to tell Andy what your decision was? How? Yeah. It's very tough. Really difficult. And sometimes I thought, I've got that, I know it. And then other times, and I thought, oh, did I get it right? You just can't believe the emotions that you go through. So I thought about what game you were having and what you could be doing. You know, were the balls being kind? We had a tough free fall, so... I couldn't... I couldn't walk away with nothing. And thought, I've got to sign it. So I signed it. So, first of all, how proud am I of you? The balls was quite kind. At one point, we had £99,704. And the war was super kind to us. Yeah. And we ended up with a total of 79000 just over. But look going on with a wonderful amount of money. Beautiful. Oh, fantastic. Beautiful. Well done, well done. You were brilliant in there. Come in here. Come in, there's the boss. Come in, there's the boss. Give him some love. Give him some love. Incredible. Tonight, Diane and Andy, they play the dramatic game full of twists. They're leaving here with 19 grand. Liam's still going to become a pilot. Join me next time on the wall. Good night. Oh, yeah, come on. Bring it in.